What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode of the Greatness of Ways Show. I am your humble host, Chris Kazama, and today we got a we got a deep one, man. I don't even want to waste too much time. I just want to get into it because all of my Last of Us fans, man, this is woo, this is a deep one. So obviously, The Last of Us Part Two got revealed finally at PSX 2016 last year. I was in the building. I was hyped. The energy in that crowd was incredible the whole building was just 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 jaw dropped by that trailer uh and outbreak day just ended and if you don't know what outbreak day is outbreak day uh is for the last of us it's in celebration of the last of us it was created by naughty dog uh and it they basically use this day uh to give things back to the fans uh this year they released a the last of us part two shirt which is purchasable uh they released a psn theme which you can see behind me it's pretty dope and also they released a new poster that has a big clue to what the story of The Last of Us Part 2 may be about. This poster just gave away some key clues of what the story will be about. And the Naughty Dog has really been like really tight lipped about what the story will be about. But I've been doing some research. So today we're going to get into my theory of what The Last of Us Part 2 will be about pertaining to the story. Now before we get started, let me just go ahead and clarify that this is just my own theory, my own opinion. This has not been confirmed by Naughty Dog. This is not fact. This is all speculation. So let me just get you guys to understand this is just my own theory. And I may be wrong, but I may be right. But we won't find out until we see a new trailer of The Last of Us or until we play The Last of Us Part 2. Maybe we may see some more stuff at PSX 2017. Who knows? So let's start with The Last of Us Part 1 and the ending of The Last of Us Part 1. Now The Last of Us Part 1 story follows Joel who dedicates himself to deliver Ellie to the Fireflies because Ellie has the cure to the virus that outbroke in the United States in her bloodstream. And throughout that journey to deliver Ellie, they both faced a lot of adversity physically, mentally, and emotionally. Fast forward to the end of The Last of Us. Joel finally delivers Ellie to the Fireflies safely. Later on learning that in order to maximize the cure to restore humanity, Ellie has to die for this to happen. And as soon as Joel figures this out, he immediately regrets his decision to deliver Ellie to the Fireflies. Now throughout this story, there is a lot of conflict and growth between Ellie and Joel. Even years after, Joel is still dealing and grieving with the death of his family members and his daughter Sarah. Ellie is dealing with the the death of her best friend Riley and she's never really had a father figure to call her own so Joel has slowly become that to her in The Last of Us. Ultimately an inseparable bond is created between the two of them. So instead of giving Ellie away peacefully after everything that they've endured during this journey to get Ellie to the Fireflies, instead Joel goes back into the hospital, slaughters any and everybody that gets in his way and rescues Ellie from her death. Later on, Ellie wakes up in the car with Joel only to learn that the Fireflies are not only not looking for a cure anymore, but there are also more people out there like Ellie who hold the cure in their bloodstream. Because Joel lied to her. This is the lie that Joel told Ellie. And this is where the shitstorm begins. So after learning all of that, and doing some research on the Outbreak poster and a few other things, this is where my theory comes in. Joel will be the antagonist of The Last of Us Part 2. Wait, 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 wait. All right, put your pitchforks down, put your flame fire sticks down, all right? Because I know a lot of you out there like Joel. Hell, I like Joel. I like Joel a lot. But... Let me explain further what I mean by Joel being the antagonist of The Last of Us Part 2. When I say Joel will be the antagonist of The Last of Us Part 2, I don't necessarily mean that he will be the bad guy or the big boss at the end of the game that you'll have to fight to finish the game. That's not what I mean when I say antagonist. Now, a lot of people felt very indifferent about the choice that Joel made to save Ellie at the end of The Last of Us. Some people felt that it was the right choice because of the bond that was created between Joel and Ellie. And of course, nobody wants to see Ellie die because, I mean, people like Ellie. She's the protagonist of the game. Everybody likes Ellie. And some people felt that Joel was selfish and not letting Ellie possibly restore humanity with her blood. People felt like he was selfish because people felt like, you know, Joel 
would be lonely and he didn't want to be lonely so he saved Ellie instead of letting her go peacefully and even that's up for debate because nobody truly knows why he saved Ellie it could be for both reasons honestly and we would never know but in making that decision to save Ellie he caused a lot of bad blood between him and the Fireflies because obviously he didn't kill all the Fireflies in the hospital I mean if you look at the new Last of Us trailer there's a Firefly emblem on the stop sign so the fireflies are very much still around and they're very much still causing trouble and they must be after Joel and Ellie so let's put all that to the side and let's talk about the newest poster from this year's outbreak day so this year's poster is a picture of a hand that kind of looks a little muscular wielding a hammer uh, looking towards a flame now this isn't any regular old flame this flame kind of has a shape to it if you look closely it's the shape of a wolf head now when you first glance at this poster you may think oh you know this may be you know Joel's hand because of the poster that they released last year of Ellie's hand with the butterfly tattoos on it and you can obviously see that that's Ellie's hand because that's Ellie's same hand and the last of us part two reveal trailer and she's holding her shiv from the menu of the last of us part one but when you dig a little deeper into that flaming wolf head you have to think Naughty Dog was planning the sequel of The Last of Us while they were creating The Last of Us. Now while playing this game you may have walked right past this part and done the sequence and not thought twice about it but actually this sequence is the most important clue of this entire theory. So Joel walks up to Ellie while she's looking up at a movie board on the side of a building and the movie board says Dawn of the Wolf Part 2. I saw this right before the outbreak. He did? Does he totally gut her by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a, it's a dumb teen movie. So when you take that information and think about everything that Joel has done and said and lied to Ellie about, Joel is the wolf on that movie board. Joel is the wolf in that flaming wolf head. So the person holding that hammer isn't Joel. It's probably one of the fireflies looking towards Joel because he's the antagonist to the Fireflies now. Because if you think about it, the Fireflies were never the bad guys in The Last of Us Part 1. They were always there to help Ellie in her journey to get to the Fireflies in order to maximize her blood to save humanity, basically. They didn't become the bad guys until Joel learned that she had to die in order for this to happen. And actually, real fast, let me correct myself, it's not in her blood, it's actually on her brain. The virus mutated on her brain that's why she has to die. So when you look at this movie board, you can take it and kind of break down the similarities to the movie without really knowing what the movie is. Because if you think about it, Dawn of the Wolf, the movie board, it just kind of screams American Werewolf in London, which if you watch that movie, the werewolf really isn't the bad guy until he becomes the werewolf. He's a regular guy, he gets bit by a werewolf, he becomes a werewolf, and a girl is in love with him the girl likes him and so if you look at the similarities between the last of us part two and dawn of the wolf you see that the girl is obviously you know holding the wolf man because there's a there's a love interest there or there's a connection there between the wolf man and the girl same thing with Joel and Ellie Joel will be looked at as the antagonist of the story now because of his decisions to hold Ellie back from giving her life away to the fireflies so now he looks like that wolf he is the wolf he embodies the wolf and we can even take it a step further and say that Ellie found out that Joel lied to her or we can say that Ellie knows that Joel lied to her at the end of The Last of Us Part 1. But, as I stated before, there is a father-daughter bond that has been created between the both of them. So, yeah, she might be, you know, upset or she might be mad with Joel for a while. But, as they say, time heals all wounds. I mean, I really think that Ellie would forgive Joel over time. But you know who's not going to forgive Joel for what he did? Fireflies. Hence, we have The Last of Us Part 2. I really think that the Fireflies are going to be gunning 
for Joel's head throughout this entire game. And you know, it's not going to result in anything good. It's not going to result in anything good for Ellie, for the people that Ellie and Joel love. I can even think of a scenario where maybe Joel's brother gets involved in, maybe gets killed in this because the Fireflies are just looking for Joel and Ellie and they're just trying to kill him. And anybody that gets in their way just... They may have to just bite the bullet, you know? But there's my theory, guys. Sorry for the super long video, but uh, I love The Last of Us. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you do too. And you know, like I said, this is just my theory. Uh, this is not facts. This is all speculation. And it's just very interesting because, like I said before, Naughty Dog has been so tight lip about the story of The Last of Us Part 2 and they've just been giving us bits and pieces and feeding us bits and pieces and more and more and more and more clues uh, until we really get a good trailer that's just going to outline everything for us so I felt like I should share my theory with you guys and maybe we can break it down a little bit further until we get a new trailer really telling us what's going to happen in The Last of Us Part 2. But yo, check out this really dope pin I got from PSX 2016. It's the stop sign, the same one in the trailer with the Firefly uh, uh, logo on it. It's dope, right? Like, I totally forgot I had this. Uh, I put this hoodie on and totally forgot I had it attached to it, man. This thing is really dope. But that is it for today's episode of The Greatness Away Show, guys. Thanks for tuning in and sticking around and hearing what I had to say. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this new poster and what do you think the story of The Last of Us Part 2 will be about? Uh, what do you hope it will be about? And what do you think about my theory? What's your theory on the story of The Last of Us Part 2, man? Let's just, let's just get in the big old conversation down in the comment section below and let's crack this Think open man we really need to talk about it. as always you can check out more updates about the greatest away show down in the description box below there's a facebook link down there there's my twitter link down there. there's my snapchat my instagram all that cool stuff is right in the description box below so if you want to follow the greatest away show and me outside of youtube it's all down there for you to go check out until next time guys i am your humble host chris kazama stay great peace